untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today I'm excited to present this big mono green deck featuring a ton of powerful 5 mana cards from Dominaria United, including the Defiler of Vigor, 5 mana 6-6 six, six, Trampler, saying we can essentially use Phyrexian mana to cast our green permanent spells so we can pay 2 life to replace a green mana symbol, and then whenever we cast a green permanent spell we can put a plus one plus one counter on each creature we control. And then to offset the life loss from Defiler of Vigor, we're playing the full set of Silverback Elder, 5 mana, 5-7 five, Ape Shaman, saying whenever we cast a creature spell, choose one between destroying an artifact or enchantment, looking at the top 5 cards of our library to put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped, and then we can also gain 4 life, and we can choose whatever mode we want as many times as we want in the same turn. And to make sure we have plenty of creatures to cast in one turn to go with our Silverback and Defiler, we're playing a four copies of Augur of Autumn, which is arguably the centerpiece of this deck once we get to the later stages of the game. 3 mana 2-3 says we can take a look at the top card of our library, and we can play lands of the top, and as soon as we enable Coven, meaning as long as we have three or more creatures with different powers, we may cast creature spells from the top of our library as well. And our deck's pretty good at enabling Coven, since Defiler and Silverback have five and six power respectively, and then Augur has two, we've got a couple at one power as well, so our deck's pretty good at enabling Coven as long as we dodge a board wipe, and then once we have Coven enabled and we get some of these creatures like Defiler and Silverback in play, we can easily chain together a whole bunch of spells off the top of our deck, gaining life with Silverback, and then getting plus one counters on the team with Defiler of Vigor, so then we can completely take over the game. So this deck is certainly more of a mid-range, late-game focused green deck, as opposed to a green aggro stompy deck that just wants to curve out and deal damage quickly, so this is certainly more focused on the late game. And the Silverback Elder is also quite well positioned now that the Green-White Enchantment deck, for instance, is one of the more popular decks in Best of One Standard. Being able to repeatedly blow up artifacts and enchantments with the ability also means we have a pretty good matchup against the enchantment decks. And then to help us in ramping into our various 5 mana creatures, we can rely on Gala Greeters with Alliance whenever another creature enters battlefield under our control, can choose one mode that hasn't been chosen between making a tapped treasure, gaining 2 life, or getting a plus one plus one counter, typically interested in making treasure tokens early, and maybe gaining life to offset the life loss from Defiler of Vigor, also a great way to potentially beat a shield root from the opponent, which will slowly drain us for 2 every turn, so we can get that life going again. And then Loam Speaker, a 1-3 that can tap to add one mana of any color, so just a nice way to ramp into our bigger creatures, and can eventually also animate our lands into 3-3 three, three elementals, and then can also be played for very cheap off the top of our deck once we get a Defiler of Vigor in play, especially if we also have a Cemetery Prowler that exile the creature, because then spells we cast with a chosen type cost one less to cast, so if we exile a creature with a Prowler when it enters or attacks, we can play our creatures at a discount, so we can potentially play cards like Loam Speaker and Gala Greeters for free if we both have a Prowler exiling a creature and a Defiler of Vigor in play, so that can lead to some crazy turns if we have an Augur of Autumn in play as well to play all those creatures off the top of our deck. And then we also have four copies of Jewel Thief, which makes a treasure token when it enters a battlefield, on a 3-3 with Vigilance and Trample, which we're happy to trade off for opposing creatures, and then the treasure token will help us cast our various 5 drops on turn 4, and the sooner we play these the better, as Defiler can start putting plus 1 counters on the team, and Elder of course also benefits from casting creatures while it's in play. And then we've got one copy of Ovenwald Oddity, definitely a flex slot in this deck, since again we're not a stompy beatdown deck where Oddity would be at its best, but it is still nice to have a haste creature which can maybe finish off a planeswalker, and in the late game we can also transform it into the Behemoth, which is an 8-8 trample haste, which will give our other creatures plus one plus one trample and haste, so it still kind of plays into our late game plan of eventually taking over and can make use of the extra lands we maybe find with a Silverback Elder, and the ability to find lands with Elder also relevant with Augur of Autumn in play, because if we see that there's a land on top and we've already played a land for the turn, then we can use the Silverback's second ability to find another land if we cast a creature, that way there's maybe another creature on top waiting for us instead of another land, so that also makes it easier to keep comboing off. And then we also have two copies of Tovalar's Huntmaster as another nice curve topper, when it enters makes a pair of 2-2 wolf tokens, so if we play Huntmaster with our Gala Greeters in play, we get to choose all three modes at once, which is a ton of value, and then 
then if it transforms to knight can also give us access to a bit of removal by letting our wolves fight with opposing creatures and a prowler also wolf that can synergize with a pack leader and then we also have four copies of tail swipe as the final piece of the puzzle just a nice one mana removal spell to help us fight opposing creatures it is an instant but we often want to play it in our main phase to get a plus one plus one a bonus and then our mana base just 24 basic forests and one boseju could potentially play crystal grotto as well as a colorless land that lets us scry one when it enters which can be useful with an augur in play as we can maybe scry an additional land to the bottom if we've already played one so we can keep comboing but there is a drawback to potentially having some colorless lands in the mana base especially with a cemetery prowler giving us a discount so we can potentially play cards like augur for just double green and then having a colorless land in play it doesn't really help us cast it so yeah that's our deck now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does Okay, we're on the play, and our hand has potential, just need a third land, hopefully. And then plenty of mana production, augur for card advantage, to combo with our silver back. So turn three, Jewel Thief, since I don't think Greeters is likely to die. And a turn two, Guardian, that we can probably block for the foreseeable future. So we get to make two treasures, and then next turn we could already play our silver back, although we have to watch out for Brutal Cathar exiling it. Would not mind a creature hitting the graveyard, so Prowler can give us a discount. So, yeah, I don't think I mind blocking with a Jewel Thief. Opponent still has to discard a card, and then next turn I can play a Prowler. Opponent discarding a Sun Gold Sentinel. And Peacekeeper is going to have a look. Probably makes our Silver back more expensive. I guess it could also name Prowler to begin with. To make both more expensive, but now I get to play Prowler. Thanks all the opponent's Sentinel, which also helps if they have Sarah Paragon. Make another treasure, I think. And play another Prowler, and then next turn we can go off with Augur of Autumn without having to expose it to removal first. And this will get a plus one counter now. And exile my own creature. Alright, so silver bag back to 5 mana now, as it should be. Sun Gold Sentinel is fine. And Guardian can hit us for 5, and I'll take it. Plenty of life gain coming up here. Okay, and another Sentinel. Could potentially be a problem since they have Coven enabled. So they can attack past our creatures. Okay, might be fine to go Silver back into Augur. So I can gain some life or get a land. But I want to see what's on top first. In case we can get more value of Augur first. And then... Still tempted to make a treasure. There's a silver back on top, so we can just cast that one. So we'll go for a treasure and then probably some life gain. I guess we don't have Coven enabled yet, so we don't get to play creatures off the top, so I'll just have to play the silver back from hand. That's okay. So I gave up a silver back trigger here in the process. Gain some life, and then now Coven's enabled for next turn. So yeah, definitely should have gone Silver back into Augur, since we didn't have uh, Coven enabled. That's the drawback, I guess, of putting a plus one counter on Greeters earlier. And then do I want to attack with Prowler? Opponent could double block. Yeah, that's probably still acceptable. Nothing left to exile. Alright, so we get to take out a Sentinel. So 
So let's see what's next. Adlin. That's fine. And the hotshot mechanic. Alright, so the board seems pretty stalled. Guardian cannot enlist Adlin, so it's probably gonna stay back. And uh, yeah, we'll go with Oddity off the top. Another Augur coming up too. So I don't want to go for the land mode since then we shuffle away the Augur. So we'll just gain four life. Could also take out the mechanic for what it's worth. And make more treasure. Play Augur. Can play a land. So I don't think I need to search since we can play the land instead. And instead uh, gain four life I think. And uh, gain more life. All right, so now we'll just pass and keep going off next turn. Brutal Cathar can exile maybe a silverback. I've got a backup. Happy enough trading for Adlin, although now they could attack with Guardian, although they don't have anything to discard. So I can just trade for Guardian pretty easily. Could pay to transform Oddity as well, so we have a lot of options, whereas the opponent's just top decking. So the game's playing out according to plan. So maybe trade an Augur for Guardian, and then eat the 1 1, trade for Adlin. This seems acceptable. Keep the discount on creatures, which is helpful when going off with Augur. And there's the Filer, that's what we needed. Although I guess we're missing our uh, Coven again. So I'll have to play a Silverback first. And this can make a treasure. And then I'll have to wait on the Filer for another turn. Fine to play Buseju. Okay. Another Brutal Cathar could be annoying, exiling Augur of Autumn at this point. Sentinel can hit for three. Fighting over the graveyard with our Cemetery Prowler. Switches to Knight. And uh, I think I want to play Defiler first. And then we'll maybe destroy the hotshot mechanic now. Can make a treasure. Now play silver back, paying life. Can't see the next card just yet. Another defiler. So let's uh, see here. Kind of happy to draw another Defiler, so let's just gain four life, even though I wouldn't be able to play it right now. And uh, it's probably time to start attacking too. Prowler can attack, Silverback can attack. And pass. Opponent can exile one of my creatures, but. I don't think that's gonna save them. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. So we got to combo off here against Mono White. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems fine. Could use a three or four mana play to kind of bridge the gap here and to trigger Gala Greeters. But there's 12 three drops we could draw in the meantime. Prowler being one of them. Up against Esper, so do expect quite a bit of removal. But if they kill Greeters, then we have something to exile with a Prowler. So we'll make a treasure. And then next turn I can already play my Defiler. Opponent on a multicolor deck here, potentially a domain enchantments deck. It's gonna be a queen to make some tokens, all right. Do we wanna take that out? I think I still prioritize the filer. 
And then maybe go for a plus one counter so greeters can attack. Since I don't need the extra mana right now. And then uh, we've got an answer to an enchantment in hand. Which could come in handy for opponents playing a Leyline Binding, for instance. It's going to be Jodar instead. Okay. Could also be a 5-color Jodar deck, for all we know, in which case maybe Tailswipe can take care of it, although our opponent will control quite a few Legendaries to make that more difficult to set up. So, let's see here. Defiler could Tailswipe... Probably just fine to attack with a Defiler. Unless we kill the Queen, then Prowler can attack and exile the Queen as well. That may still be worth it. Alright, so hoping for some green spells we can cast. Opponent happy to trim Prowler. Falls to seven. And there's Plaza confirming our suspicions of a potential Joda five color legends deck. Put on passes, that's fine. And there's Augur, perfect. So happy to play this for one mana, thanks to the Defiler. Coven is enabled, and we see another creature on top. Perfect. So maybe gain some life at this point. Play a cheap oddity. Jewel Thief we can play. So yeah, we're going off here. Another Augur, why not? And a Defiler. Won't be able to play that one, but we can certainly smash. And I don't think a Wandering Emperor will save them. We've got Busseju to destroy a Leyline Binding. So our creature doesn't even leave the battlefield, so it's still attacking. Alright, it's going to be Ertai Resurrected. Feels like they might have wanted to play that earlier before we got all those counters. Destroys Defiler, that's fine. Could also use Busage on the opponent's land. But uh, they might have a few basics in there. Now I can still play a Loam Speaker. Opponent falls to one. I don't think I need to play around a sweeper, but even if they have one, we still have a nice leftover here. Alright, opponent passes, can play a land first, and I guess we could keep going if we really wanted to, but can't think of much that saves them. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and what do we think of this hand? It's a little slow with lots of fives, and it's unlikely we can exile a creature with Prowler right away. But uh, it has potential, I guess. Just need to draw some more ramp early. I'll try it. Turn two Gala Greeters would be excellent. Jewel Thief, Loam Speaker, all cards we're happy to draw. And more lands, of course. So that's most of our deck. Opponent blue white. If they're control, don't really want tail swipe. But it looks like a Jeskai deck with turn to Bankbuster. There's Gala Greeters. There is a world where I'm better off playing the Gala Greeters here. If they kill it, I have a creature to exile. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then next round Prowler could trigger the Greeters to make a treasure. Alright, Augur's not bad either. If they have a counter spell, I guess I prefer resolving the Augur and getting Prowler countered. Ok, 
Okay, let's make a treasure. And hit for one. So just can control. Could be tough if our opponent has multiple sweepers, since our deck really wants to build up a big board. But I guess we can always leave some uh, leftovers in hand. So now, Loam Speaker versus Augur. Probably go for Loam Speaker, make another treasure. Could eventually blow up the Bankbuster with Elder, but opponent's probably going to get most of the value out of it first. And then we wanted to main phase Loam Speaker in case they countered it, then Prowler could have exiled the creature as well here. Opponent falls to 15. And they Firestorm to wipe the board, unfortunately. Okay, so now... We have a lot of options still. Could play Defiler and Pass, hope it sticks around. So next turn we can play things at a discount, including a Silverback into maybe an Augur. Let's see, Silverback would be 4 mana, Augur 2. I would have one treasure left. I guess that works if I draw land. Alternatively, I can just play the Silverback now to threaten to blow up a Bankbuster or Augur now to maybe play a land off the top. Close call. I think I do want to resolve a 5-drop if possible. And um, I guess the Filer makes more sense. Alright, Sanctuary Warden, that's fine. So now I can play a Silverback using the Defiler. And then Augur. Probably okay to blow up the Bankbuster. And attack for 8. Hoping there's no sweeper in our future. Could have been a reason to just uh, try and remove the last shield counter of Sanctuary Warden. Although we can still maybe take it out next turn. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll keep going. Silverback. Can maybe look for a land. That way I can maybe keep going with Augur of Autumn. Did not find a land at all. But there is one on top we can play. And the Loam Speaker. We'll use Frexium Mana. Next card is a Forest, so I wouldn't be able to play that. So look for lands and then maybe gain four as well since we're getting kind of low. Tail Swipe on top. Okay. So, probably move to combat attack, see what happens. Opponent might have a Wandering Emperor, but at least we got our value from Defiler. And then Tail Swipe can maybe help us take out Warden. Don't think Augur is attacking. Alright, so Ring City to bounce Defiler, that's acceptable. And a chump block or double block. Alright, just chumping with a token. Can still tail swipe in the opponent's turn to take out Sanctuary Warden. Otherwise, probably fine to let it attack. And if they have another Firestorm, it's actually not even good enough to kill most of my creatures. So Warden attacks. Now I could respond. That way they don't have a counter to remove. 
Could be a little risky if they have instant speed interaction to maybe kill whatever I try and fight with. So we'll see what they decide to do. Possible they keep the counter if they have a sweeper, but nope. Opponent draws. Can still easily clear the blocker here. And yeah, opponent explodes. So yeah, despite a sweeper, our mono green deck prevailed. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Got a nice 2 3 4 curve. Can maybe even ramp out Elder ahead of schedule. Up against Mono Black, perhaps. And then the card we most want to find probably Augur of Autumn and uh, Defiler. Opponents looking like a Grixis deck. Instead, Cut Down can take care of Greeters. That's fine. So now if we find a Cemetery Prowler, we have a creature to exile. Although the same is true for a Corpse Appraiser from the opponent. Augur's perfect, so play Jewel Thief. Could use my treasure to Tail Swipe and kill Harvester. I don't think we care enough about it, so we'll just pass. Now we may not get immediate value of silver back if we play it next turn and our opponent can answer it. Shieldreds? Yeah, that's a scary one. Although the life gain of Elder could easily help us uh, beat it. Fine to trade. So yeah, do we play a silver back here, hoping it survives? I think that's still probably our best bet. Since Augur doesn't use most of my mana and Oddity doesn't really attack into Shieldred, so. Yeah, gotta hope there's no Infernal Grasp or other answer here at the ready. Liliana also very good, but now we can maybe kill Liliana with a hasty Oddity. can gain two with a blood token as well. Alright, that happens. And then I also have the option of using Tail Swipe to fight Shieldred and trade. Doesn't feel great, but it is an option. Yeah, maybe it is worth it here. Opponent did get a chance to loot. If they had another shield in hand, they might have discarded it. So it's worth a shot. And then hopefully Augur can pull us ahead. Alright, they had a second shield after all. Was sort of afraid of that. Tail swipe number two. We'll have to wait for a larger creature. Alright, Gala Greeters can maybe offset the life loss from Shieldred, but we'll need more than just uh, Gala Greeters. And it's going to be a while before I can enable Coven. So yeah, these black midrange decks, even without Massacre, are still quite good. Sorin. We can maybe pressure thanks to Tail Swipe. Right. Finds a Harvester. And Shieldra's gonna protect Sorin. That makes sense. Another Gala Greeters on top. Although, won't have Coven just yet here. So, might be better off keeping Forest in hand in case I need to discard it. No attacks. So, don't love my chances with her opponent drawing two per turn. And we still need to find a uh, silver back to offset the life loss from Shieldred eventually. Although I guess double Gala Greeters could do a decent job too. Shieldred might be attacking too now. And there's an underdog, so plenty of blockers now to protect Sorin. Shieldred gets in. Take four, and then we'll take another two in our draw step. Play a lands, and then this is the end of the road. 
can play greeters. We could technically enable Coven by putting a plus one counter on my Gala greeters and then using Tailsfine get it up to three power. So we have one, two, three. But with a forest on top, we know there's nothing we can do here. So if I gain two life, I'm still dead to Vampire plus Shieldred. I guess I can fight the Vampire. And then maybe by gaining two, we can survive another turn. Although I doubt it. So we'll pass. Yeah, it all came down to the Liliana answering Silverback. Otherwise, we would have been in a pretty decent spot, I think. Easily offsetting the life loss by gaining four with each creature. And then Silverback also good with Augur as we can potentially clear some lands off the top. You deal with this annoyance. But so it goes. Greeters down. And then now I would be trading for Underdog. Chumping Shieldred just to survive. Trespasser puts us to one, and we know we're top decking a forest, so if we lose Augur, we lose all hope. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand has potential. Turn to probably go for greeters since loam speaker doesn't ramp into any four mana play up against a red aggro deck jewel thief yeah i think i'm still liking greeters and if they kill it they may not be able to play creature to get a plus one counter and the life game from greeters is also pretty good against a red deck they have the turn to adversary so that's going to hit us for three Pretty good. Tailswipe's not bad either. So if I go Jewel Thief, I can Tailswipe the Adversary right now. And I'm still interested in making a treasure to ramp towards Huntmaster. Could also just keep my treasures and next turn already play Huntmaster. Maybe that's just better actually. And then keep the Tailswipe for a bigger problem card. Greeters is tapped, so hopefully it doesn't attract too much attention. And then next turn can trigger all the way when we play Huntmaster. I'm fine if Jewel Thief dies. Stormseeker is okay. So we'll let them attack. Happy to trade for Stormseeker. If they attack like that... Probably just eat the etching instead. Take six. But uh, we're about to stabilize the ground nicely with a Huntmaster. And we get all three modes here. Next turn we can gain more life with Gala Greeters. So the red deck's very far behind, we'll need some flying creatures, and even then we still have a tail swipe. And it's not like our opponent had a bad draw, they went Kumano into Adversary into Stormseeker, but these treasures just adding up so quickly. And our opponent explodes, don't even have to show them the second greeters, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a promising hand, double Gala greeters. Can make treasure to ramp towards Silverback. And then Augur of Autumn, Defiler, all good draws. There might be a cut down in our future. That's too bad. So now we're hoping for Cemetery Prowler as well. Put on Black White, there we go. Speak of the Devil. Exile our own greeters. And with a land we can play a silverback next turn. The filer will have to wait. So I guess oddity for now and attack. Go 
Let's get the reinforcements to make some 1-1s. One and Trump's Prowler. Okay. Is there a board wipe in our future, maybe? Opponent passes. There's our land. Opponent could be playing the counter spell here. That also makes a token. I think I still try to go for a Defiler, because if it resolves, I can play Greeters for free, essentially, and pump my team. But yeah, it would be nice if we can actually resolve it. Maybe it's worth it to run one Elder into a Counterspell to next turn, then go Defiler plus Greeters, which of course also plays well with an Elder in play. So it's worth a shot. And yep, there's going to be an Interceptor just to bounce it. That's fine. And then do I attack? Probably just hang back. Interceptor's pretty good against our deck, trying to resolve all these expensive cards, but the discount from Prowler helps. Shieldred, that's fine, so opponent's tapped out now. And we could have some fun with uh, Defiler. Into Gala Greeters. And then next turn continue to combo with our Silverback. Any attacks. Oddity could attack. Trade for Interceptor plus Reinforcements. Ah, we'll wait since it'll pick up more counters. Can maybe trade for Shieldred if that attacks. Alright, the Filer down, sadly. Still got some value out of it. And another Augur. So now Silverback versus Augur. I guess we'll try Silverback. And Gala Greeters could make a treasure. Right, make disappear to counter. It's too bad, but our opponent's gonna run out of counter spells eventually. And as long as one Augur sticks around, we can have some fun. Then it's acceptable. No attacks. Do I try Silverback again? Now I may be better off playing Augur before playing land, since we can still play lands off the top, and we have Coven enabled. Another Gala Greeter's coming up, let's make some treasure. Play that for one mana. Gain some life back. So double Gala Greeter's also quite good here, so we don't even need Silverback to offset Shieldred. And uh, I guess playing another Augur's fine, don't really expect a Sweeper, especially with Mihook Massacre now banned. And then we can trigger the second Greeters with it as well. And still interested in Treasure, I think. Make it more likely we can have a big turn on the following turn here. Pass it back. So now it's on the opponent to make a move. Reinforcements. It's fine. Opponent passes. Play my land for free. And a Defiler's Excellence. So we'll start there. Make more treasure, gain more life, basically. And now I could play Silverback into Loam Speaker to trigger Silverback. And get a ton of counters. Always satisfying. Land on top. So I can look at the top five to maybe find more lands. Another Defiler. Okay, well, might be time to start attacking soon. Uh, let's see, Pun does still have a 4-5 Death Touch. What if I attack with 5-5 five, five Greeters, Oddity, and Prowler? That seems okay. Then it does not prevent us from exiling a card with Prowler, at least. Opponent jumps. 
giving up shield root, they might have a backup in hand. I guess there's always a chance they have a sweeper too. Although at least we'll be drawing a defiler to follow up. Uh -huh, I ganjo to finish off prowler, that's fine. So it makes it less likely that there's a sweeper if they're making that move. And our board looks uh, pretty impressive now compared to the opponent's Void Rand killing Defiler, that's okay, we've got another one coming up. Play Defiler, make more treasures, and gain more life. Play Silver back, and our opponent explodes, awesome. So very satisfying way here to end the series of games, getting our revenge against the black midrange decks. So very satisfied with how this mono green deck turned out. Just have to have the mindset of playing towards the late game as opposed to your normal green stompy deck that's more aggressive. This deck is all about getting your engines online and then eventually taking over with Augur of Autumn and your various five mana creatures. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.